Hello guys, uh, now let's talk about fermentation in a little bit more details. And we have been talking about anaerobic metabolism and we have also seen uh, the discussion about, you know, uh, the ethanol fermentation especially. Now in this video we will be talking about the fermentation as an overview. So let's talk about fermentation and all the different types of fermentation actually. So let's take a color and let's begin with it. You know, fermentation is a type of anaerobic anaerobic metabolic pathway anaerobic metabolism metabolism so it's a type of anaerobic metabolism uh, so fermentation is usually occurred in uh, bacteria and also it can be seen in in low eukaryotes uh, lower eukaryotes for example uh, yeast yeast is an eukaryotic cell but you can still see fermentation going on and also it can be seen in higher eukaryotes like us because even in our body we have fermentation all the time you know after taking our food there there are a little bit amount of fermentation going on that's why you fall sleepy after eating too much of uh, certain certain sugary food and then also uh, fermentation occurs in our muscle uh, then the fermentation occur inside our muscle and that produces lactic acid there it causes the muscle fatty so these things are related with all all with each other so let's talk about the fermentation fermentation can be majorly of two different types one is uh, the ethanol fermentation another one is the lactic acid fermentation in that con context so let's talk about both of them here now in the in the in, in the lactic acid fermentation if we talk about here the lactic acid fermentation we have glucose and uh, what we will produce is lactate or lactic acid so this is the substrate this is the substrate remember glucose and the product is lactic acid or lactate same thing now from one glucose they will produce two lactate remember because you know uh, in all this type of fermentation studies and processes the main thing and a very important thing to look for is the number of carbon that is present in glucose that is six carbon in lactate there is only three carbon so uh, two lactate means two C carbon molecules are produced there right so if you begin with the glucose from the glucose they will produce lactate or lactic acid uh, via one intermediate and that is you know pyruvate because pyruvate is one of the very very important intermediates in uh, the glucose metabolism or the carbohydrate metabolism and uh, the process of producing pyruvate from glucose is termed as you know it is called as the glycolysis and this process requires uh, you know ATP and it also produces ATP it requires two ATP and it produces four ATP so ultimately it gives us the gain of two ATPs right so the via the glycolysis from glucose we produce two pyruvate molecules each of the pyruvate molecules are three carbon so such two pyruvate molecules will give ultimately the six carbon which is there present in the glucose so uh, no carbon is lost in any means every carbon is there now from the pyruvate they directly produce lactate but remember during the glycolysis they requ also require certain agents like NAD plus which is reduced to NADH right now once the pyruvate is produced the, this pyruvate is directly converted to lactate via the lactate dehydrogenase enzyme. The name of the enzyme is not provided here, but the enzyme here is lactate dehydrogenase. And the lactate dehydrogenase enzyme converts pyruvate into lactic acid or lactate. You know, pyruvate is also 3 carbon, lactate is also 3 carbon. So they will ultimately produce lactic acid and a little bit of water. And that's what uh, the, this lactic acid fermentation is all about. This fermentation takes place in the cytosol of our cell and in our muscle cell once we do a lot of exercise. And then uh, if the lactic acid starts to accumulate in our muscle, the muscle becomes very much stiff and that time the muscle is called as the fatty condition of the muscle. Now let's talk about another fermentation that is uh, the alcohol fermentation. Again, the substrate here is also glucose. And the product here is ethanol or alcohol. So this is the product. So we need to produce ethanol from glucose. And this also have the intermediate called pyruvate because that's very, very important. Except for pyruvate, they have a certain extra stage. So pyruvate is already there. 
but they have a certain extra stage we'll be talking about it later the process of production of pyruvate from glucose remains the same two atps are ultimately produced and also they require nad to produce nadh plus h plus two of them and once they produce that that pyruvate is you know three carbon molecule now during this process from the pyruvate they produce acetaldehyde and the production of acetaldehyde from pyruvate requires the release of a carbon dioxide from the pyruvate so that what's happened here carbon dioxide is released here as the carbon dioxide released one carbon is released from pyruvate so from three carbon it becomes now two carbon molecule and we all know acetaldehyde is a two carbon molecule now from acetaldehyde they will produce ethanol and during this process of ethanol production by, by the enzymes called uh, ethanol or, or alcohol dehydrogenase during this, this process the alcohol dehydrogenase uh, will convert its acetaldehyde into ethanol and during this process uh, they also recycle the NAD plus back uh, to the previous state because NADH is oxidized to NAD plus and they give the NAD plus and they produce more and more free NAD plus which will go for the next round of glycolysis right so that is uh, in a whole fermentation but remember fermentation occurs in the absence in the absence of oxygen because if the oxygen present in that case fermentation never occurs in in, in, uh, in the other hand pyruvate is being produced by the glycolysis no matter whether the oxygen is present or absent but after that if the oxygen is present the pyruvate will take the pathway called aerobic aerobic respiration or aerobic uh, metabolic pathway and by the aerobic respiration they will produce more atp via the process called citric acid cycle or tca cycle they produce ultimately 34 atps more right so ultimately via the aerobic pathway they produce approximately 36 to 38 atps in the presence of oxygen in the absence of oxygen in turn they will produce only 4 to 6 atps so that's the difference right but still fermentation is required in certain organism and it is required for us because we use fermentation to produce a lot of different important variety of food uh, for our con convenience. So that's kind of it guys and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.